Dave Hino from Ocean State Tackle here. Going to do a short uh, video about some ice fishing gear um, to familiarize people with ice fishing and, and show what we offer. Ice fishing is done using tip-ups, which are these. There's a variety of tip-ups. Those are Heritage Lakers. They come spooled and unspooled. These are 40 up. That green thing is an ice chisel. This is a Jiffy ice chisel. These are some Heritage ice chisels. They're used for breaking out uh, other holes. But this milled locks with that stepped head right there can really blast through some ice. Comes in a few different sizes. Uh, when people ice fish, they use a variety of lures and baits. They jig for them with these jigging rods right here. When they jig, they jig for salmon, they jig for crappie, they jig for uh, trout and, and bass, but mostly for crappie and uh, yellow perch. Yellow perch is good eating, guys really like that. Uh, people use monofilament for the... Uh, for the jigging rods, they use Dacron or, or what's nylon squidding line for uh, the tip ups and tilts. And we carry that from 25 pound to 45 pound test. We have it in bulk spools, 1,000 yards. Uh, that's $45. The other ones are, are five, six, and 750. Uh, natural baits, people use trout worms, dillies, mealworms, which I don't have right now, uh, salmon eggs, power bait. When you use salmon eggs and uh, power bait, use these small eagle claw trebles, size 12 and 14. They're really small, but they allow the, uh, the baits to suspend. Especially the power bait, it'll float when you use a small hook. If you use a larger hook, it won't float and you won't get the proper presentation. Uh, when you fish for pike, people generally use shiners. When, uh, when you're fishing for pike, you need to use steel leaders like this. Uh, 12 inch, 36 or 45 pound. So the pike's teeth won't gnash through them. Um, we... Um, we carry St. Croix jigging rods, some Frabo uh, jigging rods, the St. Croix rods are combos. Uh, they're set up ready to go under the line. Those are $40 a piece. Uh, they're made by St. Croix rods. The most popular uh, tip-ups we have are the Heritage Laker. They come in uh, natural finish or, or painted. They come with or without line. The most popular is this model right here. This is a Heritage Laker. Comes with a nylon spool, has a drag, has a grease filled brass tube, all hardwood construction. Instead of just strap spring steel, it has a spring actuated, uh, spring actuated uh, flag and uh, they fold they fold right down for easy storage anyway we have Heritage Lakers at the lowest price available here at Ocean State Tackle uh, jigging for lures guys use small stuff like these little River City Superfly small jig heads dress small dress bucktails Jig heads with saw plastics or little cast masters like this. Um, that's a scoop right there. Scoops are used after you made your hole with your auger or your chisel, after to uh, to clear the slushy ice out of the hole. And um, as the day progresses, you, you'll get some skim ice. You can use a small chisel like this to break the skim ice, and and then you scoop scoop that out so you keep your hands dry. Anyway. Dave Hino, Ocean State Tackle, Rhode Island's leading ice fishing gear headquarters. Thank you.